You know, it's a weird thing. The older I get, the older the games get that I like. That's partly because that's how time works. It's also because games are changing, and they're turning into these elaborate, weird, overproduced, Hollywood wannabe things. Look, games are just changing, and I'm changing too, into an old person. And that's what old people do. They, they resist change and calcify their beliefs, which is also how time works. And that's also why I love going back to games like this. It's Williams, Arcade's Greatest Hits for the Sega Genesis. Damn kids. You know, one of the, the many things that I love about these old arcade compilations is that they are themselves old. Like, this one was released in 1995. It's 20 years old. And yet, even then, these arcade games were considered old school and retro. And hey, let's, let's put them on a cartridge because they're so old school and retro. I mean, that's old on three different levels. It's like, how much older could it, it be? And the answer is none. None more old. Spinal Tap. So there are five games here. There's Defender, Defender 2, Joust, Robotron, and Sinistar, which is like, it's like a Hall of Fame ballad of video games. It's ridiculous. And as with any collection like this, where you're taking games from their original platform, and you're putting them on a different platform other than their original platform, the results are kind of mixed. There's some good, there's some bad. There's no cutscenes though. Oh, but, but what's my motivation? Why am I in this spaceship? Why am I shooting aliens? Uh, cause you're in a spaceship and there are aliens! And your mom gave you quarters, stop asking questions! What the f more motivation do you need? Where did she get the quarters? Beware, I live. Anyway, Defender and Defender 2 are pretty awesome, they both play great. Maybe a little floaty, but... I mean, I, I didn't have a problem, and I'm terrible at these games. Actually, I think this is this is the furthest I've ever gotten in Defender. And that's because you can adjust the settings. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I you can turn down the difficulty to something less arcadey and more reasonable, which means you can give yourself more lives to start out with, which I did. Turns out when these games aren't total dicks, they're totally awesome. Still never saved any people though. I always just look, I, I can't catch the people. Everyone in Defender dies when I play. Either from alien mutation or extreme trauma from falling from the out of spaceships and splattering onto the frozen, lifeless wastelands of deep space. You know, when you put it that way, Defender sounds brutal. Like, the, like now that's a cutscene. I think my next favorite here is probably Sinistar. This is a solid version of it. It's another one that's made the move to the Genesis pretty gracefully. It plays pretty well. I guess Joust plays pretty well too. In the sense that it plays like Joust, which actually I've never thought plays that well. Like I've always been more of a balloon fight guy. Oh, so sue me. To me that's one case where the copycat plays better than the original. No offense to Joust though, it's still fun. And I mean it's... It's still Joust, it's fine. Which brings us to Robotron, which brings us to the game's one real problem. See, in Robotron, in case you never played it, because you're one of these damn kids, you move and you shoot in different directions simultaneously, which obviously works best with two joysticks. Sega Genesis had none joysticks. I mean, the D-pad works okay for moving, but the shooting is kind of a pain in the ass. You have to push a button to rotate your aim one way, and then you have to push another button to rotate the other way. And, and then you push reset, because that sucks. This whole, this just sucks. But I tell you what though, Robotron aside, this is a pretty great little collection for 1995. It's a bunch of classics, ported over in fine form. They look good, they play well. They sound like the past, which is awesome. The past was awesome in gaming. Future, I'm not so wild about, but that look, that's just how old people are. And this is how video games used to work. Minus the cheating, because this is obviously, I'm, this is kind of cheating. It's Williams, Arcade's greatest hits for the Sega Genesis. Big thanks to our dear, close, personal friend, Mark, from Fresh Meadows, New York, for sending this to the show. Run, coward. Run, run, run. Beware. 